Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a video about cleaning my uh, decent espresso machine. Uh, I'll go through exactly what I do for my cleaning and enjoy the video. So first thing I do is I turn on the machine and let it heat up. And then I um, get the blind basket. is basically one without any holes and then I use this kafiza to do my back flush uh, it really works well for coffee oils and anything that could be in your group head from the coffee residue so I just do a little bit I go to flush. So basically, wet the cleaning solution and then I lock it in. That way it doesn't start like dry. Basically, it already started working. So once I do that, I just go into the settings and click the clean and wait for it to do its thing. It takes a few minutes. And then I'll show you what I do next. cycle I do I basically just uh, do a cycle with detergent and then there's obviously detergent left as you can see there's a bunch in the basket so I just dump all this and wash make sure I rinse the basket real well let some extra water run through and then once I did that put my blind basket back in place and run the cleaning cycle once more so that it can get rid of the any uh, residual solution from the Kefisa. My basket in the Kefisa. So basically just get a cup, put a little Kefisa in it, put my basket that I use, and then put a little more on top, and then put uh, hot water and let it soak for, I don't know, maybe five, 10 minutes or so. That's what that looks like. Basically, you wanna see it bubbling. So the reaction with the kafiza and hot water and the breaking down the coffee oils and stuff in the basket. So you do wanna see it like bubbling. So there's the second round of the cleaning. Um, see, no more, no more residual. You can't see no bubbles, no nothing. So I just clean that off clean the group and then do a flush and just let some water go through it. And that's basically how I do my back flush. So that's all ready to go. Next I'll move on to basically uh, hand washing the drip tray and the water tank. And also I have a waste bottle because I don't really have a drainage here, so I use a waste bottle and I also have to clean that out. So I actually made this drip tray. It's a, it's a non-drainable drip tray uh, the, that comes with the machine. And I uh, drilled a hole with a diamond bit hole saw and I put a 90 uh, quick connect into it. That way I basically can just do this and it's disconnected and it's basically ready to get washed right here. I believe it's a 3 8 um, right there. So one side has threaded and the other is a quick connect. And basically on this side, 
I just uh, epoxied it in place so it's nice and flush so it doesn't stick up. It uh, works really well for what I use. I really didn't think I needed to buy one. And also I, I created a basically a block off for like I just put a little piece of the 3 8 uh, tubing and I just put a cap. So if I do ever need to, I just can clog it and use it as a non, non drainable drip tray. So that works well too. So either way it works out. So now I'm going to go and wash the drip tray and I'll show you the water tank shortly here. All right, for the water, um, if you do have an automatic refill, you definitely want to uh, turn off the pump because one time I didn't and I basically thought that it was low in water and it would just turn on and keep going forever. So <laughs> flood your place up. So make sure you turn that off. Once you turn that off, you can pull your water tank out. And I have the Schwartz cover, stainless steel cover. Works pretty well. Uh, it's got a little bit of film and stuff. It's been probably about a month or so. Uh, looks pretty clean to me. It's got a few like I don't know, it's like little film pieces in there. Um, but yeah. I just go ahead and clean that out. And once I have those out, I go ahead and clean my drain bottle. Um, I'll go ahead and it's probably a, as full as it ever got. This is basically, I just have it drain into here of the wastewater. It takes a while to fill up, so works great. Don't really need an actual drain. Nicely clean. Make sure that it's nice and lined up. And then, same thing with the drip tray, this quick connect. Basically just connect it, and it's good to go. Just pull it. Drain bottle down here. Line this up. And that's it. That's a quick run through. What I do on probably a monthly basis to keep my machine nice and clean and this I actually have it's a step up it actually fits like really nicely uh, the way this machine looks and the drip tray so once I started doing filtered espressos since it had multiple uh, not a rat's tail but it, it basically drips a lot more and it basically splatters all over the place so I just raise the cup so it has less splatter but yeah if you guys want something like this this actually came from my uh, Lilith Bianca before this is the machine I had and that's just a piece that came with that machine and I just happen to have it so works really well with this setup so yeah be sure to rinse your basket really nicely and nice and clean and I usually just wipe it down with the microfiber it's got a nice shine to it uh, dry it off between because it's got condensation most of the days uh, basically lock that in and there we have it ready to brew some nice delicious coffee I do notice my shots, few, first few shots after a nice cleaning, uh, most of the time I do notice that the shots just taste better. So yeah, keep your machine happy and clean. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.